What's going on YouTube? Fresh Trail back with another video. Now, this is going to be quick and I'm going to start this off by saying wrestling fans are some of the most gullible people I have ever seen, heard about, or even been associated with in my entire fucking life, man. So, Brock Lesnar beats the dog shit out of Randy Orton. Beats the dude damn near unconscious, right? And now there's this damn report coming out that Y2J ran up on Lesnar. He pulled up on his ass like, like a fucking G and everything after the match, at the gorilla position and everything. Now, let me ask one question to whoever put that out, because you know what happened. One source put that out, everybody cut and pasted it on their website, and now it's gospel throughout the damn wrestling community. Who's the source? Answer that fucking question. Who is the goddamn source? Now, let's use common sense, people. If the source, this quote-unquote person, was really there, that means to have heard what Lesnar said and to have also heard what Jericho said, he would have to have been pretty goddamn close to have even heard it. And if Y2J and Jericho really did get into a tussle, why wasn't there a single mark on Chris Jericho on Raw today? Hmm, I wonder fucking why. I mean, if Lesnar touched his ass up, you would see some fucking evidence that he touched his ass up. Now, going back off of that. Apparently, according to this quote-unquote fictional story, Vince and Triple H broke it up and they told Jericho it was a work. It was a work. And then Lesnar ran back and or Jericho ran back to Randy. And Randy was like, I knew it was going to happen. Look, y'all, if there was a person, one person, if your quote-unquote source really was there, if Vince really is this big bad owner of the company and he's asking what the hell is going on and he's looking at every single eyewitness to the fact and there's X amount of people around. So he knows already who the people were around the situation, right? OK, let's check that out. So he knows everyone who saw the situation or would have that knowledge. Check. And if that person is blabbing about it's a work, this is a work, that's a work. Why do they still have a job then? Y'all motherfuckers really do not think. I'm going to tell you who the source of this story is. Some wrestling fan's imagination. Someone saw the madness that happened and they have to create a story in their mind that makes sense to them. They put it out there. Everyone else took it as gospel to try to make sense of what the hell just happened. The man got his head busted open, man. Fact. Deal with the fucking facts, man. And then let's go back to the Sasha thing. They say, well, Sasha had a back injury. She's got all these nagging injuries. If she had all of these quote-unquote injuries, why are we just suddenly hearing about it right now? If she really is so injured. When Nikki Bella went out to go get neck surgery, we heard about it a while before it actually happened. If someone is that badly hurt. Now, the Finn Balor shoulder thing, that's completely different because it happened during the actual match. But when you have actual nagging injuries, there would be actual real reports of it. And also notice that Sasha always jobs to Charlotte on the big stages. Just notice that because Charlotte is the great white hope. The bl blonde hair, blue eyed, leggy blonde model that, you know, the old regime loves so damn much that damn role player but like really i had like what like three people send me that damn shit talking about oh it's a work the randy word lesnar thing was a work if it is a work and shout out to my boy david allen he said it best smarks ruined pro wrestling man if it was a work why are you broadcasting it was a work man let me suspend my disbelief and believe Brock Lesnar snapped the fuck off and beat that dude to a bloody fucking pulp, which is what I think the fuck really happened. I think he whooped his ass. And just because there's some article out there, people believe anything they read on the damn Internet. Hey, I heard uh, Triple H fucked Randy Orton in the ass. Where'd you hear that? I read it on the Internet. I, I guess it must be true then, huh? Oh. I heard uh, Andre the Giant is actually still alive. Where'd you hear that? Oh, I read it on a dirt sheet website. Like, 
Really, man. Some people are so damn gullible, man. You'll just believe anything, man. Like, I don't know if it was real or not that Randy Orton got his ass whipped. But the fact of the matter is, he got his ass whipped. Deal with it. The man got beat the fuck down. Y'all seen the Warriors when Cleon was trying to take on the um the, the road. He kicked two of them. And then the wrist boxed him up and they just elbowed his ass to death. That's what the fuck happened to Randy Orton. <laughs> he got elbowed to death like Cleon from the Warriors. I mean, for real. Lesnar took that man manhood with that match. Randy Orton in the damn hospital right now. He contemplating retirement, suicide, a sex change, uh, becoming a priest. He contemplating everything except getting his ass back in the ring with Lesnar right now. I mean, you can't take nothing from him. He got his ass whipped by Brock Lesnar, people, y'all like. That that doesn't really dock any man points from you. Now, this Meek Mill situation where you send a hundred goons at someone and they don't even do shit, that's a minus man point situation. But getting a one-on-one -on -one fight with Lesnar and getting beat down, that's, that's not a loss of man points. Like and subscribe, y'all. People believe any fucking thing that they read on the internet. For real, y'all. I'm out.